Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing tonight? Tonight we are playing some uh, some budget green red Tron in modern. Uh, this deck clocks in at 38 ticks on Magic Online, almost 39. Uh, in the paper world, you're only looking at about 250, so that's it's not bad for a Tron deck considering your average Tron deck is upwards of 300, 350 uh, because of the Carns. 
Uh, so what we got going tonight is got some ancient stirrings, best can trip in modern right here. I mean, it's an argument that this card should be banned. Uh, so it's basically you're just good old green red Tron shell. I mean, four power plants, four mines, four towers. Uh, we've got a full playset of Carpusian Forest, four forests, and one mountain. And then obviously four ancient stirrings, the full set of chromatic spheres, chromatic stars, and expedition maps, along with the Sylvan Scryings. Uh, we've got Perilous Vault in place of Oblivion Stone. It's a good reset button, a little more expensive, but obviously we're doing this deck on a budget. Uh, and then for creature base and finishers, we've got, I mean, obviously four Reality Smashers, just a solid 5-5 five, five for five that we're trying to play on turn three. Uh, Steel Hellkites, you know, fair things. Uh, it's a good 5-5 five, five flyer for six. Uh, and you can destroy some permanents, basically kind of like an Ugin effect, except for it doesn't hit all permanents X or less, it's just X period. Uh, two World Breaker, and then three Mer Battlesphere, looking to uh, pump this thing with the four Mers that we get. And then as far as the top end of our curve, we've got two Ugin the Spirit Dragon, and two Ulamog the Ceaseless Hungers. So that's what we're looking to play tonight. Uh, as far as sideboard goes, we've got three Crumble the Dust for the mirror match, uh, four Pyroclasm, deal with uh, aggro decks like Burn, uh, Goblins, Humans, uh, two Fogs, also for aggro matches, four Nature's Claims, good for dealing with uh, things like Affinity, also Ley Lines, uh, anything like that, any artifact or enchantment based decks. And then two Ratchet Bombs, standard uh, sideboard for Tron decks. You know, good, good at sweeping boards. So that way if we come across anything too bad, we can just sideboard in our sweepers and deal with them. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're looking to play tonight. Uh, before we get started, uh, a couple reminders. Uh, please check out my YouTube channel. It's uh, Five Color Feehan, same as on Twitch, on YouTube. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe. And check out all the videos. I post all of my stream highlights as well as I've got a couple other video series coming. Uh, I'm going to be playing some some Pauper uh, on YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to do it on stream, but I might. Uh, also, some standard stuff on there. Looking at getting some new, uh, new standard stuff. Uh, Dominator's got me pretty hyped on standard. And I don't have time to play in paper at my LGS, so I uh, figured it'd be kind of nice to play some on here. And also, uh, donations are available. Uh, never expected, but always welcome. Anything that gets donated to the stream uh, gets put right back into it uh, via buying event tickets to do more streams, building decks, things like that. So please, if you feel like donating, that's great. But like I said, not never expected. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're trying to play tonight. We're trying to uh, play some Tron. So we'll go ahead and jump in. Uh, we're going to do a uh, league, and we're going to do a we're going to do a friendly league. I like doing the friendly leagues. And so we'll go ahead and join the league, and go ahead and jump into uh, our first match. I have not play tested this deck at all, so I'm not sure how it's going to run, but I mean, it's basically just a standard Tron deck, you know. Just uh, good value creatures at 5, 6, and 7 mana, so hopefully we can get our, uh, get our Tron on. I normally am not a fan of Tron, but I've played it in paper a few times. It's, it's fun. I'll go ahead and jump into our first match here. Oh, uh, maybe we'll jump into our first match. All right, maybe this one. Awesome. Yes, we would like to play first. Um, 
Hmm. Man, I don't know if we... Yeah, we got a mulligan this. Okay, this isn't bad. We'll keep this. Hopefully we'll draw our other Tron piece. That way you can just tutor up the one we're missing. We will keep. Uh, star to the bottom. And power plant and expedition map. Uh, really need to top deck a land on turn two. Upside those, we have a couple redraws. Pass the turn. Alright, maybe blue white control. An opponent passing. And we draw a steel hellkite. That's not great. That is the opposite of a land. Alright. So this is looking like Jeskai control, I would assume. I don't know anything else. It's playing Cascade Bluffs. I mean, other than the deck that I'm working on, but... <clears throat> oh, Storm. Okay. Draws their one of Cascade Bluffs. I think if we don't draw land here, we might just be dead next turn. Right, there's a land. So... We will... Sacrifice this for a green. To draw a card. That's nice. So, we will Sylvan Scrying. Now we're gonna go ahead and get a mine and then we will pass turn so we want to try next turn but if we're if as long as we're not dead then we might actually get to do some things <clears throat> so this is definitely looking like like storm as far as I can tell you know we're blue-red control oh that's nice so we'll just draw the tower that works so we'll go ahead and play out some stars and maps that gets us some redraws here Opponent. Okay, looks like they're going to cast a Gifts Ungiven. Yep, there's the Gifts. Uh, making Gifts piles is the worst. There's never a good choice. Never. Okay, so either way, they're going to draw a Brawl or an Electromancer because they'll just Noxious Revival it back. Um, two cards to put Graver. So I think we actually make them spend the re uh, Revival to put it back on top to make them draw the card. But, I mean, with Gifts Piles, there's really... No good choice, honestly. So, yep, they're going to put the Brawl back on top. Land number four. So, got a Brawl coming down, I would assume. Yep, there's the Brawl. Ritual. Overpaid for it. They filtered to double red. 
Manamorphos. Yeah, I don't think they can fizzle out at this point. So then they just cast the rituals and Manamorphos. I mean, it's possible. So there's up to six red. There's the Manamorphos. Probably gonna make double blue. Yep, up to cast their cantrips. Another Manamorphos. I really wish the storm counter on Moto wasn't bugged right now. But something they definitely need to work on. So they can cast all three of their cantrips in graveyard. Okay, recast gifts. Yep, second gifts. That's that's where we scoop it up. So this is kind of a bad bad match for us. Um we don't really have much in sideboard. I didn't get to throw Damping Spheres in here. Which I think is really what we need. It's rough though running it in a Tron deck, but... So for this... Not a whole lot of Graveyard Hate either. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure what we do. Thinking we just got to be faster than them, which is rough because Storm is probably the fastest deck in modern. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we bring in the Ratchet Bombs for Perilous Vaults. Then we just run it with something like that. We will play first. No action in this hand, unfortunately, but we'll keep. Give it a try. All right, so power plant and map. Hopefully we draw some action. Pass the turn. <clears throat> and Seer so Visions. Like, even if we hit a star or a sphere, something to cast this Ancient Stirrings with would be great. Because then I mean, maybe we could hit uh, an Ugin or an Ulamog. Oh, just another Ancient Stirrings. And we will pass the turn. Crack the map on their end step. Got the brawl. Yeah, sleight of hand. Ooh, it's just sleight of hand and pass. Okay, so we need to get our grab a mine. I'm not really scared of dying next turn. It's possible though. But we will Ancient Stirrings. Um, I think we will grab an Ugin. And pass the turn. Because next turn we will get to cast the Ugin. I mean, depending on what we draw. <clears throat> I mean, if we draw another land, we could Ancient Surings and Ugin. Main phase gifts. Oh, Baral. Are we just dead here? Manamorphos. <coughs> I think we might just be dead here. Uh, as much as I enjoy Storm, 
Uh, I do really think something in it needs to be hit. And ritual. Like, I'm not sure what though. Maybe uh, Brawler Electromancer. Like, I think you'd have to hit one of those in Storm. Otherwise, they're literally just gonna... Like, if you ban gifts, they just go back to playing Pyromancer's Ascension. So... Oh, Past in Flames, gonna cast all of their rituals again. Yep, Manamorphos. And a ritual. <clears throat> and a ritual. And a metamorphos. And that's where we scoop it up. Yep. Already down to 0 and 1. Alright, on to round 2. That was rough. Man. Just died on turn 3 to Storm. Yeah. Alright, on to round 2. Yeah, I don't know about Storm. I think something in it's going to get hit. I think they have to. Um, ooh, man. I don't know if we can keep this. It's a tough one. Uh, I think we keep... Hope to draw into the tower. So if we draw a tower, we have a pretty pretty good hand here. Uh, scalding Tarn. Mmm, Death Shadow. Uh, yep, we're gonna get Thought Seized. Oh, that's fine. Inquisition hits absolutely nothing. That works. Blanked our opponent's discard. And we draw a Reality Smasher. It's Power Plant. And pass. Man, I really, if we hit a tower in the next two turns, we are golden. Because if we hit Tower, then we got Reality Smasher into, or Steel Hellkite into Reality Smasher into Ulamog. That works. Expedition map. And a mine. Pass turn. Alright, so this hand's shaping up pretty well. Demons tapped. So I'm not sure if this is Death Shadow or Grixis Control. I mean, they're playing their stuff tapped. So I'm assuming it's Grixis Control. Uh, we will play another mine or another power plant, and we'll just pass the turn. Now we can crack this on end step. So no turn three Tron, but could have a turn four Ulamog, I believe. So it'll be seven, eight, and no, not an Ulamog, but we'd be able to play a Reality Smasher plus Perilous Fault.
which seems pretty fine. Uh, we'll get the Tower of Power. They got a Vendillion click to make us put the tower back. That'd be a blowout. Oh, and we'll just draw a tower. Okay. Reality Smasher. Got a counter for it. It's a logic knot. I'm not sure what our opponent's doing here. Okay. All right. Reality Smasher resolves. Go to combat. Terminate, that's fine. Well, our opponent missed a land drop, so I think this Ulamog is going to be devastating. Alright, opponent discarded Jace the Mind Sculptor. Ooh. Okay. Uh, you'll cast a Perilous Vault. Just to have that on backup. And pass the turn. So next turn we'll have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana. That seems pretty good. Oh yeah. The cast on this Ulamog is probably going to get our opponent to scoop it up. So play a tower. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, so star... Uh, and then we'll crack the star for a green. Draw a card. Oh, that's even more brutal. So, Ulamog, crack two lands. <clears throat> Floating some mana. I mean, unless they have a logic knot. I mean, a logic knot's pretty fine because then we get two of their lands and then we just cast Ulamog again next turn. Yep, there's the logic knot. Uh, no, we will not pay for it. Yep, that's fine. We will pass the turn. I uh, still have Perilous Vault, but I don't know what our opponent's going to do with one blue slash red mana. <clears throat> and we go on a sideboard. So this looks like Grixis Control. Um, man, we could go hard on the land destruction plan. That seems like it'd be kind of bad. But, so... I'm thinking almost same 60. Um, I, I doubt they're going to bring anything. Let me look at the sideboard for Grixis Control. Your average control deck. Because off the top of my head, I'm not sure what they'd have. Uh, let's see. I mean, I don't know what they have for the Tron matchup. I mean, maybe Damping Spheres and probably some Crumble the Dusts, which Crumble the Dust is pretty bad for us, but 
Yeah, I, I think we just run the same 60. I think that's what I'm doing. This is a snap mulligan. <laughs> the old zero lander. Okay, I mean we'll we'll keep this. We got a Tron piece. To the bottom. Wish we had a map. But the opponent polluted delta and passes. <sighs> Moto. Come on, Moto. Just put that to the bottom. They're gonna stubborn denial it. And passes. Really hoping to get a, a second land or an expedition map. Creeping tar pit. Okay, that's nice. There's another. So we'll crack this for a green. And of course we'll hit another star. Uh, play that. We will crack this for a green again. And pass the turn. Now I guess we could have played another star. That's a misplay. So next turn we get to, unless we draw the tower, we get to Sylvan Scrying. Okay, they're going to Field of Ruin. That's fine. We have Basics. Uh, we will get a forest. Uh, we will actually play a star. And a star. And then we'll pass the turn. So next turn I'm hoping to uh, crack both of these. There's a surgical extraction on the mine that they're actually paying for. Yep. That's fine. I mean, we can play through that. Yep. Got all the mines. Anything else, opponent? All right, you're just passing. Opponent's tanking. Surprised they paid for the extraction. That's interesting. I mean, normally you just, I probably, if I was them, fired it off and they at least represented Cryptic Command. Crack this for a green, using the colorless mana to get a redraw. Um, we'll fire off the Sylvan Scrying, seeing as we can't can't seem to hit lands. Um, we'll just get a tower for now. Play the tower. And then we will pass the turn. I mean, we still have some legitimate plays here. It's just annoying that in our 21 land deck, we miss so many land drops. Okay, discard and shock. I uh, will discard a perilous vault. Oh, 
Another creeping tar pit. That's a Jace. Opponent fate sealing us. And passes. Alright, Sylvan Scrying. Get a Carplusian Forest. Crack that for a green. That's nice. So next turn we get to uh, fire off uh, Reality Smasher to hit Chase. It must have a Thought Seize. So opponent brainstorming. What you got, opponent? Fires up Tarpit. That's actually kind of nice. I mean, they could have a Mana Leak or probably most likely a Logic Knot for this Reality Smasher. Which would be kind of annoying, but... So I think we're actually just going to fire off this Perilous Vault, try to bait out a Counterspell. Fire off the Perilous Vault. That way now we're threatening Jace. So this should actually bait out them to counter it. And then hopefully we can just slam down this Reality Smasher next turn. And especially if they fire up Tar Pit. Uh, so if they fire up Tar Pit and attack and counter this Perilous Vault, we're threatening with Reality Smasher. But it looks like they're gonna sack this, maybe. Okay, right, ceremony's rejection, that's fine. So, we got a counter out of their hand. But they gotta get through two reality smashers threatening their Jace. And then, if we can grind out to the long game, then somehow get up to 10 for the Ulamog here. Uh, we can just crack Jace with that. I mean, the problem right now is we've just got to put Jace under pressure. Like, landing Jace on an open board is rough for us. So, I mean, now they're getting all this brainstorm value, being able to, you know, filter their draws, hopefully not hit cryptic commands and logic knots, but that's probably what they're doing. Yeah, it's rough when the opponent draws their sideboard cards. So, now that I know they're playing... Okay, Thought Scours. The Damping Sphere. Damping Sphere's not great against Tron, but it's not bad. And we untap. And so, we will cast a Reality Smasher into their Cryptic Command that we know they have. I'd be shocked. Oh, Reality Smasher sticks. Okay, maybe we got him on the F6, or they're just gonna trade a Creeping Tar Pit for this. I mean, that seems pretty bad, because then I'm still hitting Jace for three. Unless they've got a removal spell and they're gonna discard for it. Seems like a pretty odd line. Fires up Tar Pit. Okay, so Jace is still taking three here, and they're losing a land. 
Okay, lightning bolt discard. I mean, Jace is still taking three here, which is, I mean, that's fine. I'll trade a Reality Smasher for three damage to Jace in one of your lands. Yeah, exactly like that. Two and then three. So then next turn, they've got another Reality Smash that they don't know about. Like, they knew about one of them. So they have another Tarpet they can throw in front of it, and, I don't know, maybe like a Snapcaster Mage, but they traded away a land to keep Jace alive. Which, I mean, I guess that fa fair play. I mean, I'd want to keep my Jaces alive, too. The opponent with the Brainstorm. Man, Brainstorming's so good. Such a, like, such a good thing. Like... You know, just the entire mechanic of brainstorming. All right, another Jace. But again, they they have another Reality Smash that they don't know about to deal with. So I mean, I guess maybe they'll put Flip Jace in front of it. Good old JVP blocking a Reality Smasher. That seems pretty bad. Um, we will. Let's go ahead and jam down another Reality Smasher. I mean, they got a Cryptic. Yeah, it looks like they got a Cryptic. Yep. Yeah, we will pass. I'd like for our 21 land deck to draw a couple more lands right now. That would be awesome. All right, yeah, they're gonna have two Jaces. We're gonna scoop it up. And we are definitely going to bring in Ratchet Bombs. So we'll bring in Ratchet Bomb to deal with Jaces. Um, eh, maybe we'll keep Perilous Vaults. Go down one Steel Hellkite. Actually, we'll go down a Mer Battle Sphere. No, Steel Hellkite, actually. Uh, so go down one Perilous Vault, one Hellkite, and run it like that. Uh, yes, we would definitely enjoy playing first. This is a hand I can get behind here. Not going to have turn three Tron, but we have a good chance of getting to it, like if we draw it. So Tower of Power, Map. I mean, we've got some redraws here, so. Uh, hopefully we can get down this Perilous Vault to uh, clean up any Jaces and things of that nature. The opponent passing. So, Carplusian Forest, and we will pass turn. We'll crack this on their end step. Search for his Kanta. And passes, so we will crack the map. Uh, we will get a mine. And we will draw another tower. We will sacrifice this for a green to get a redraw. Uh, I mean, Ulamog's not bad. Not great, but not bad. And we'll pass. We'd really like to just top deck uh, a Power Plant next turn. Because Power Plant and then Battle Sphere is kind of what we want right now. Because Battle Sphere is tough for even a Jace to deal with. Because you, you bounce the Battle Sphere and you've still got the four 1 1s that you got to deal with. I mean, and they haven't seen a Battle Sphere from us yet. I mean, I guess unless they're gonna slam down like a K command on the Battle Sphere. There's a Fulminator Mage. Nope. Blood Crypt tapped. Alright, come on, deck, one time. Power Plant off the top. Ah, uh, I mean, that's kind of a Power Plant. Ah, uh, we will pass her.
So unless they can blow up one of our towers and extraction it, we're gonna get to Ulamog next turn. And then we hit a land and probably search. Polluted Delta. I mean, even just getting the cast trigger is perfectly fine. Like, even if they have the counter. Alright, so end step. We will grab a power plant. Unless I got a Vendillion click, that'd be kind of a blowout. Alright, no Vendillion click. Oh, there's a Vendillion click. Yep, gotta make us put the power plant back. Or the Ulamog. Probably the power plant, though. I mean, that, that would be my choice if I was playing the click right now. Oh, it makes us put the Ulamog back. Okay. Interesting. So we'll play the power plant. We'll play a ratchet bomb. Um, six. So we will then ancient stirrings. Uh, we will take another Mer Battle Sphere. And then we will... Hmm. Let's see, so we've got six, we've got eight mana available. I mean, while they're tapped out, we might as well fire off the Battle Sphere here. Got a ceremonious rejection. Yep, ceremonious rejection, that's fine. But what they don't know is we have another one. As Kanta. Another end step, we will we'll tick up the ratchet bomb to three. Or I mean up to one. We're gonna get up to three to try to deal with this click to get that off the board. Thought scour. Mills a search and another thought scour. It's in with the click. We'll go to 16. Now we'll put a charge counter on the ratchet bomb. There's another Mendelian click. Surgical extraction, targeting battle sphere. Okay. So main phase, we will power plant and perilous vault. I mean, they don't have cryptic command mana, so another ceremony rejection. Do they just draw literally all of them? Nope, that's a snapcaster mage for ceremony rejection. Yep. Yeah, yeah, take your time, opponent. Yep, ceremony rejection, and we'll pass turn. As Kanta, 
close to flipping, but not quite there. Man, I would love for like a top deck Ugin. Would be pretty great right now. Goes attacking. Down to 11. Or a top deck Ulamog would be pretty good. Are they going to trick bind it? Oh, they're going to K command it. Okay. Yep, K command and shocks us. Man, they have just had literally all of their cards, haven't they? Yep, and we will scoop it up. Man, that was rough. Okay, on to round three. Oh, well, that's what happens when your opponent draws sideboard cards and you don't. Alright, let's see if we can get a good match here. I mean, that was just rough. Like, we, we destroyed him in game one, but, I mean, we just drew so poorly. Like, I mean, we hit one Ancient Stirrings. And it hit us two stars of Battle Sphere and another Ancient Stirrings. Like it was, it was so bad. We've just had some awkward running. I mean, yeah, like we we won game one in eight minutes. I mean, that was pretty good. Like, we've just had some super awkward draws. Like, not being able to hit Tron till like, turn 5, turn 6. It's been tough. Alright, that's taking forever. Try it again. On to round three. Um, hmm. We'll keep this. Hopefully you don't get thought seized turn one. Okay, it looks like playing against Valakut. That's fine. So... Mine, Expedition Map. That's actually a pretty good start. That was a good turn one draw. So, I mean, this is pretty nice. So hopefully we can crack their Valakut with World Breaker. I mean, we've got the green mana for it, so. Oh yeah, there's a Valakut. So yeah, we can hit that with World Breaker. And we've also got Ulamogs. Another forest. So we're just gonna just go ahead and fire off this Ancient Stirrings. Oh my goodness. Uh, we'll take another Reality Smasher. And then we'll pass. Man, these... Ancient Stirrings have just been brutal for us tonight. Like, I don't think we've hit a single land with an Ancient Stirrings. Which is really awkward. Like, I mean, that's what that's literally what we're hoping to hit with them, is our Tron pieces, usually. I mean, I'm fine with hitting Reality Smashers, but I'd like to be able to, you know, cast the Reality Smashers. Another Cinderglade. And passes. Tron piece. There we go. So we will cast that. Then we will pass turn. So we're going to go ahead and on our end step crack the map for the power plant. And then we can world breaker. And hit the, the Valakut. Lightning bolts our face. That's fine. 
So we can go World Breaker into Reality Smasher, Reality Smasher Ulamog. Or World Breaker into Reality Smasher into Ulamog. Through the Breach. Oh, it's the Breach deck. Okay, there's Breaching a Prime Time. So we're going to be taking some damage here, but that's fine. I'm going to get another Valakut. If they don't get a Valakut, they're going to be kind of sad. I mean, one, they won't deal any damage unless they do. And two, if they don't, we're going to hit it with World Breaker. Okay, so they grab a Valakut, so they don't deal any damage. But now they're going to deal damage. So they're going to get two, four triggers, so... That's 12 damage. Yep, four damage to our, or 12 damage to our face. That's what we do. Yep, go ahead and stack. Yep, always yield to Valakut. And we'll go to two. All right, wait, we go to six? Oh, yeah. Yep, they got us. Sure. Uh, so this we will bring in Fogs. Um, and Crumble the Dust. Go down Perilous Vault. Uh, Mer Battle Sphere. And two Mer Battle Spheres. And run it like that. So Crumble the Dust, this is why you run the Crumble the Dust, for the Mirrors and for Valakut. Seems pretty decent against Valakut. And Fog's just to stop the, the primetime beats. Yes, we will play first. Oh man, that's awkward. Uh, but we will keep. So Titan Breach is what we're playing against. Uh, so we will... And Ancient Stirrings. Can we hit a Tron piece? That isn't a power plant. Oh, really? We hit a power plant with it. Wow. Uh, we'll actually take the Crumble to Dust, though. In any order. And on the upside, we got the... The, po the third power plant out of the way. Man, I have terrible luck on Moto. Search for tomorrow suspended. And passes. And we'll just play the two spheres, or a star and a sphere. Search for tomorrow. Ticking down. Wooded foothills for our opponent. And mountain. And Steve. And passes. Oh my goodness. We're just going to draw towers and power plants, I guess. And we will pass the turn. This is not shaping up good for us. I mean, luckily we got the crumble to dust, so it's okay. I mean, the only downside is if they can just breach out a Titan. I mean, they could do it this turn. If they breach out a Titan and they get two Valakuts, then we're kind of boned. But, I mean, this is just... We just had super awkward draws today. I'm surprised they didn't crack this Steve. To get there, to have five lands this turn. Another search suspended. 
getting in with the with the snake. It's a snake. We'll take our one down to 19. Another Steve. So they're gonna have six. They could have six mana next turn if they wanted. Oh my goodness! Another bleh. So we'll play a tower. We'll crack you for a green. Oh my gosh, that's all four power plants. Wow. Okay. Because we, we put one to the bottom with uh, Ancient Stirrings. Man, it's been a super awkward draw. We literally, like, next turn we get to play this Reality Smasher, but... That's... That's so bad. I mean, wow. Super bad. Search. Ticking down. So this comes down. Opponent gonna get in for one. Yep, down to 18. Wooded Foothills for our opponent. Oracle of Moldai. Emrakul on top. Shuffles away the Emrakul. Scape shift on top. Man, we would really just like to top deck a mine. Would be great. So I get to play an additional land. Cracks the Steve. Arid Mesa. Damping Sphere on top. That's that's fine. We can play through Damping Sphere. Steel Hellkite. And we'll play a Reality Smasher. Go to combat. Attack for five. So Damping Sphere, Damping Sphere is okay, because next turn we get to jam down the Steel Hellkite. Because Steel Hellkite can deal with Damping Sphere. Now are they going to cast it? Or do they want to draw the Sphere? <clears throat> That's the real question. If they want to shuffle away this Damping Sphere. Because they probably think Damping Sphere is like the greatest card against Tron. I mean, like I said, it's good. But it's not great. Alright, they will cast it and shuffle away the sphere. Escape shift back to the top. Draws the escape shift. Cinder Glade on top. Tireless tracker. Escape shifts. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're gonna keep one. So they're gonna get two Valakuts and six Mountains. Which is 12 triggers, which is us being dead. Man, this has just been super awkward tonight. Like, we literally drew, I mean, we basically drew, oh, they only get one Valakut. Okay. So one Valakut. Gets us. That's six triggers. That's 18. Yep. And we'll scoop it up. Yeah, we we drew all four power plants in that game effectively because we, we put one to the bottom with Ancient Stirrings. 
and we drew three of them. All right, let's see if we can get a not awkward draw. I would like one, like literally one game for this deck to just cooperate and not draw four of one Tron piece and one of another. Like, the only Tron piece that we've hit with Ancient Stirrings are one that we had two of in our in our opening hand. So, I don't know, on to round four. It's gonna be a pretty quick stream. It's only been an hour so far tonight. So, I don't know, we might might do something after this. Man, that was a rough match. Like, we had, we had such a good hand in game two. We just needed to draw anything to be able to play quicker. Like, anything would allow us to play quicker. Would have been phenomenal. That was just so rough. But, eh, that, that happens. Like, I, I have terrible luck on Moto. Like, I, I'd say I lose more to my own deck than I do to my opponents. Like, though, though, those... I, I want to say the last two matches I lost to my own deck, not my opponent. Like, my opponent didn't do anything super great in any of those matches. You know, they, they just, they, they drew lands and spells, and we drew one land and no spells, or four of the same land in a deck that needs three lands. So, just losing to variants. Such as magic. Such as me playing magic. But, I still love the game. Except for when I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like it's going to be tough finding a match here. It's really interesting. All right, come on, find us some, find us a match here. Man, just cannot find an opponent, apparently. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't think I've ever had this hard of a time getting a, getting a match on Moto. Let's try it one more time. Very interesting. Anybody else ever had this issue? Like, 
I, I've never, I mean, it's been a minute this time, but a minute the last two times, so about four or five minutes trying to find a match. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting here. Been a, been a weird night all around. Deck not cooperating. Moto being Moto. Hey, there we go. On to round four. Ah, uh, yes, I will play first. Okay, see, this this is a Tron hand, people. This is what we're trying to get here. Uh, we will definitely keep this. So we'll have a turn three Reality Smasher. Uh, or turn three Steel Hellkite. Uh, so Power Plant. Map. Pass. Oh man, it would be such a blowout if we were playing like a, like a sweet brew. Oh, it looks like Burn. Let's say if it was like a brew and they just go, turn one forest, nature's claim the map, I would have cried. First time we're going to have turn three Tron all, all stream. And they're just like, nature's claim it. Gotcha. I right, see this is a pyroclasm match here. So we've, we've got some sideboard cards for this match. Ooh, and a world breaker. So tower of power. And we'll pass turn. And we'll crack the map on their end step. So I'm thinking we're going to... Yeah, they've got two, two Swift Spears out. So we're going to actually Hellkite next turn. Uh, that way we can swing in. Uh, and then crack their uh, their Swiss beers. So we will grab a mine. All right, yes. Grab a mine. Ooh, and another tower. So, steel Hellkite. I mean, I guess they could double bolt it, but if they double bolt it, that's six damage not going at our face, which is perfectly acceptable. Uh, as someone who's played burn a lot, that is less burn spells that they have to send at the dome. Like, I think we're just not gonna block here. So they're going to go to combat. Yeah, we'll take our beats. I mean, worst that happens is they fire off two bolts and we take like, three, six, nine, twelve. I mean, that's rough. And it puts us in a double bolt range. But... So are they going to double bolt our Hellkite here? And then we take six. So I mean they're they're representing double bolt here. Or at least a bolt or an or a lightning helix. So worst case scenario is double bolt. Okay, searing blaze. That's fine. I so we're gonna take nine. Because the landfall trigger. Which gives us incentive to not block, which I'm fine with. Because we're going to wrath their board. Uh, so, play a tower. Okay. And then we will go to combat. And we will attack with Steel Hellkite. Hit our opponent 4-5. Uh, 
Um, and then... Uh, Reality Smasher. And then we will pass turn, because next turn we're going to hit for 15, so we've got, we've got lethal next turn that I don't know about. I mean, I mean, even we're, yeah, I would say we're even safe from triple bolt here. So here we want to go pyroclasms. Um, and probably go down two perilous vaults, one sphere, one star, and just run it like that. Like, I think this is a really good matchup. Like, like I said, we got some good sideboard cards for this. Pyroclasm's super, super clutch. Um, I just gotta hope to have some form of red mana, which I mean, we got quite a bit. The full play set of Carp Forests. Uh, this is not great, but we'll keep. I think it might be too slow for burn. I mean, we're gonna have a turn three Tron. So actually, you know, no, this is actually fine. Goblin Guide for our opponent. Reality Smasher on top. That's that's good. So Smasher on top. <laughs> so mine map. And we'll pass. So if we can live to turn four, we should be good. So we'll have turn three Tron with the Reality Smasher as a blocker, most likely. And then turn four, we'll have a Pyroclasm to sweep up the board. Goblin Guide coming in. Gets us a forest. Gets a land out of the way. That's fine. So we go to 13. That's a low life total. Rift Bolt suspended. Power Plant. And we will pass turn. Rift Bolt coming at our face. Yeah, they just had a a very very burn hand. Goblin Guide gets a land out of the way. Man, he's drawing a lot of lands tonight. We go down to eight, so dead to double Boros Charm. Rift Bolt suspended. All right, so we need a tower. Reality Smasher. And we will pass the turn. Keep this as a blocker, which is kind of rough, but we, we kind of need it. I mean, I think this hand is just far too slow. With, I mean, with a, with a hand our opponent had. Got the lightning bolt. Oh, lightning helix. Uh, we will discard a forest. Rift bolt. And are they? Do they have the other lightning bolt? Yep. There's the rift bolt. Arid mesa for our opponent. And Snaring Bridge. Let's see, seven, eight, nine. So they're literally just buying themselves some time here, but uh, so we've got nine mana, so Perilous Vault. All right, 
we will crack the perilous vault just to get rid of that ensnaring bridge. And now we're just hoping for the whiff. It's probably not going to happen, but I mean, we're we're dead to many things here. They've got so many draws that just outright kill us. I mean, I really hope our opponent's not slow rolling us. I hate it when people do that. Like, I, I really cannot stand it when people slow roll. So, two. Hit the white sources. I mean, I, I'm serious. If, if they're slow rolling, I'm going to be kind of upset. Okay, so that shuts off the helixes as a potential out. So now they're basically just they need a they need a lightning bolt or a one mana burn spell. Uh, Grim Lava Mancer. Right, we can sweep up Lava Mancer, so. Uh, we'll crack this for a red. Steel Hellkite's pretty nice. Cast the Pyroclasm. Uh, go to combat. Swing with Ulamog. Alright, so they're down to 26 cards in their library. Hit them for 10. And then... Steel Hellkite. Expedition map. And we will pass the turn. So we have Lethal on board next turn. So they, they've got to draw a one mana burn spell. Watch, this has been a lightning helix in their hand the whole time, and they hit this arid mesa. And our opponent says, not a single bolt. All right, and our opponent scoops it up. Yeah, said so, said so not a single bolt. That's 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 rough, man. I've been there though. It's terrible. <clears throat> well, we are up to one and three now. So you know about anyone going to the standard PPTQ at the GOAT? Kind of want to try bumming a deck for it. Uh, I am not sure, Colin. Uh, I don't know. What, what are you wanting to play, man? Like, I, I could probably get you some decks. Yeah, not not drawing a single bolt is super rough. Like, it, I, I was super worried that after uh, I hit their two white sources that they had a... A lightning helix in hand that they drew one and they drew that arid mesa so i was uh i was, was super sketchy there for a second but i don't like being at two against burn for three turns all right so yep we are up to uh probably some control variant like blue red or blue black uh I I'm a really big fan of uh in standard uh Colin the the Esper lists that are running around uh I'd say take a look at uh uh 
like the RAF flash list, like if you're looking for Dominaria stuff, um, I don't know of anybody who you'd be able to borrow that from, but I mean, that that's definitely an option. Um, and it seems pretty, pretty good. Like, it seems super fun. Uh, that, that'd be my suggestion for like a control variant. Um, but yeah, I don't know if anybody who's going, like, I, I think Stefan might be going. Um, if I can get a deck, I might go. But like I said, I just, I don't have a standard deck right now. I mean, I've, I've got some stuff, like, I'd like to build the Wrath Flash list. I've got some stuff for it. See, I got, I've got a, a Teferi and a Lyra right here on my desk. But, you know, don't know if I can get more of them for it. Maybe, uh, maybe talk to Pfeiffer. Uh, Pfeiffer might have, I mean, he bought a case of Dominaria. So he can build pretty much anything. All right, on the last round. CLOA is everywhere right now, but, you know, mon Mono Green is, uh, it's actually looking pretty spicy, man. Like, I was, uh, I was goldfishing with, uh, Austin's last night while we were playing D&D, &D, and, uh, I mean, there were some draws where I had where it's like, you can just go, like, turn three Steel Leaf, and then turn four Galta, which is just, it's insane. I like use or it says turn four, turn five, Galta. So you're just like, you know, t turn one, forest, land of war, turn two, uh, the other ramper from Dominaria, turn three, steel leaf, uh, turn four, Galta. <laughs> like it, it was, it was ridiculous. So, I mean, mono green seems, seems pretty fun. Uh, Plus, I mean, you you could do like a like a mono green energy variant, and play like uh, like green belt rampagers and things like and you know obviously bristling hydra, which I despise bristling hydra, but that's just me. All right, on to round four. Whew. Mm. Cannot keep that. Uh, we will play some mulligans. Oh, I draw the, the one of mountain. Ugh, I'll keep. Uh, I guess we gotta put that on top. Draws the one mountain in the deck. What is this? My luck tonight. I'm pretty bad. Yeah, like the, the three color energy decks... I mean, unless it's like Grixis Energy, I don't think it's super good anymore. That's a that's a nice Verdant Catacombs opponent. Uh, Urza's Tower and map. And we'll pass the turn. You know, one, one of these times, I'm going to come up against a green deck. I'm going to play my turn one map. They're going to get Basic Forest and Naturalize, or Nature's Claim It. And I'm going to cry. It's going to happen. Blood Crypt. For our opponent. Cycle of Straight Wraith, so Hollow One. Are we getting Hollow One right now? That'd be. I'd cry. I would cry if I got Hollow One right now. Oh, cycles two Street Wraiths. Cycles three street race. Opponent. Come now. Oh, okay. It's living end. Interesting. Very interesting. Jeez, that's a that's a start, man. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to be fast enough here. Blah. Draws the Ugin. Man. Uh, 
I right, see th this is one of the matches where I wish I had some graveyard hate in the sideboard. Like when I was putting this together, I was clearly not thinking properly. I think let's pull up my sideboard here. Zero. Zero graveyard cards. Got some fogs for this match though. <sighs> Cycling just terrible, terrible cards. And passes. Right, so mountain. I'll play a map. Yeah, I really don't think we're gonna be fast enough. I mean, maybe if we can get down an Ugin, but they're gonna violent outburst us on our end step here. Cause, yep, here comes the outburst. Get the concede button ready. Beast with it. Okay. That's fine. That's far better than a violent outburst. I mean, unless they're playing extractions in the main. Bid and Orchard. Yup. Now is the violent outburst time. Oh, cycles of Desert Ceridon. Limited All-Star. Yep, there it is. Okay, we will scoop it up. Um, so I think we bring in Fogs. And... Perilous Vault seems fine. Go down a star and a sphere for fogs and run it like that. That was just a bonkers start, man. Like that's, it's a very living end, end turn right there. Man, we have just come against some really bad matchups tonight. Is this gonna be another one of those games where I draw all four mines? Uh, we'll keep. It's not going to be fast enough, but we'll keep it. And map. Pass the turn. Blooming Marsh for our opponent. We draw Fog and no way to cast it. We'll play a second versus mine. So sadly, I think we're going to crack this map to get a forest. So we can fire off Angel. Yep, there's the first cycler. Man. I hate Living End. Just tur turn three combo. So we'll sacrifice the map here in a second. If Moto decides to let us. Uh, we'll get a forest. Oh, we'll draw a Carplusian forest. We'll fire off an Ancient Stirrings. Best cantrip in modern. Oh, sweet Jesus, Dak. Really? Again, this ha yeah, we'll just we'll take a mine. Sure. That's the the second match where this has happened. Like, and I want to say it was round three. I have two power plants in my opening hand. Fire off and Ancient Stirrings, grab a Mer Battle Sphere. next draw is the fourth power plant. Wow. Yep, and th this is how we lose. Street Wraith. We are going to lose and not cast a spell. That is pretty rough.
Maybe we'll Sylvan Scrying. Get a tower and pass the turn. Keep up this fog, so in case they have violent outbursts this turn. Man. This has just been rough. It's been a rough league. I'm gonna go 1-4 again. Because our deck has just been super uncooperative. Yep, here comes the Violent Outburst. Like, I, I don't get how this has just kept happening. Like, I have never had this bad of luck with, with a Tron deck. Ever. And I mean, like, th this deck is not far off from, like, the super expensive Tron. I mean, we're ba we're basically playing like the the mono green Tron, which is the most consistent at getting Tron, and we almost never have it. Yep, cycles a card. Goes to combat. Yep. Uh, we will. F by cycling a card here. Cycles a couple cards. Or cy so cycles an Archfiend. Okay. Uh, we will fire off a Fog. Not that it matters. It, it really doesn't matter. Yep, there's our expedition map. So we'll uh, jam down a reality smasher as a blocker. Oh, this has been a super awkward and rough stream here. Draw four mines and a tower. Thirteen. So we'll take thirteen here, go to six. Because we're going to block there. <laughs> yep, that's fine. That's why we blocked there. So they've got to cycle one more to not lose this creature. Yep. Like, if we top deck Perilous Vault here, I think we might be okay. Because... Hey, another another fog's not bad. So expedition map. Crack the map. Uh, get a power plant. Play a power plant. Pass the turn. So this gives us one more turn to draw a perilous vault. Like, if we can draw a Perilous Vault, we could easily win this game. Or, like, an Ugin. Like, an Ugin gets us to exile all these. So, I mean, let's, let's take a look at our sideboard here. So, we did not board out any of the Perilous Vaults. So, what's our opponent doing here? 
attacks with everything. Uh, we will fire off the fog. Okay, so they suspend the living end. Oh, Mer Battle Sphere is pretty nice. So how much mana do we have here? Is that six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen? Is that right? So yeah, thirteen mana. So uh Mer Battle Sphere. So what do we do here? So Living End has three on it. Um So we will Mer Battle Sphere to get some blockers. Um and we will pass turn. So we're kind of looking for like an Ugin or a Perilous Vault is really what we want. This is literally just giving us some time to get to those. Living ends ticking down. So we have two two more turns to draw a P Perilous Vault. Avalanche Riders. Oh my goodness. Really? Avalanche Riders? I did not think that played Avalanche Riders. Like, that seems kind of... And an Ingot Chewer. Interesting. Very interesting. Ingot Chewer, that's an interesting choice. So, you'll block everything. Take two from the Avalanche Riders, which is a very interesting choice. Like, I, I don't, I don't know if you want to run. Like, I'd rather run Fulminator Mage. Yep, and we'll scoop it up. All right, one win. All right, well, that's going to be the end of our stream for tonight. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, please check out my YouTube channel, um, Five Color Feehan on YouTube. Uh, go, go ahead, head over there and uh, subscribe. Um, hopefully, we're actually going to play a stream where we actually get a deck that's going to cooperate with us. But with my luck with Magic, I don't know if that's going to happen. But thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, we'll be back next Monday. Uh, I might try to sneak in another stream this week sometime. Uh, so keep. Uh, Keep an eye out on Twitch and also uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at 5 color Feehan on Twitter. I also post on there every time I'm going to do a stream. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.